rhythm, one of the most important things for dancers. In this video, I'm going to share with you 10 ideas, 10 tips, 10 tricks, 10 elements related to rhythm and the relationship to our dance. Bam! Hello, forrozeiros! Here, Rafael. If you don't know me, I'm a musician, a composer, a doctor of musical arts, very passionate about teaching, teaching music for more than 15 years and forró for more than three years here in New York. Uh, I have been working recently on a series of courses online for this moment that we live now that we cannot meet in our regular events and classes. And I decided to do this video here for you guys, for YouTube. Uh, I have been working on, especially in musicality, very deep into musicality, and I thought it would be very nice to share those 10 tips. And those are things that uh, are very much for forroseiros, but I think are nice ideas for anyone who wants to dance any kind of social dance or actually any kind of dance. Let's jump directly into the content. Number one, this is kind of obvious, but I see so many people not doing it, which is listen before you dance. Many people, they are thinking about their partner, they are thinking how they look, they are thinking about which move they're gonna do, and they don't listen to the song. And they go directly to the dance floor and they start moving without connecting with the song. So number one, listen the music. Number two, trying to find the elements in the recording, the elements in the performance that give you cues regarding the rhythm. Uh, music is very complex and usually have many layers of events happening. So if uh, rhythm is a challenge for you, I recommend for you to try to find elements that you can identify and they are somehow regular. So when you start to listen to those elements, it is easier for you to connect with the song and find the rhythm. Number three, once you identify the rhythm, then it's time to start to feel the rhythm, feel in your body the rhythm, feel the pulse of the song, feel the beats in your body before you actually think about and do any move. Just feel the groove, have this feeling inside of you, connecting your body with the sounds you listen. Number four, start easy. Think about simple movements that you can use to get started and get in sync with the song. This is a great way to get started uh, and simplify the movement. Sometimes we think too complex and it's harder than to connect to a song if we're just starting. So before you start up thinking about doing any complex movement, focus on movements that you can really connect and be in sync with the song. Number five, for Hoi is a partner dance. We need to connect with our partner. So this is a concept that when we are starting and putting together with the previous uh, topic, if you sync to the song in your mind, you start to move your body, you feel the groove, and you do something simple, you have the chance to then connect with your partner. And use this, connect uh, this connection to your advantage. Because you're both, hopefully, you and your partner trying to be musical, trying to be connected with the songs. So one can help the other in doing so, and by creating this, this bond, uh, trying to connect and find the rhythm together, makes the whole dance experience much better. So trust your partner and try to connect with him or her. Number six. Now things start to get a little bit more complex. We should always try to understand the relationship of our movements, the movements we know, with what is happening in the song, with the beats, with the divisions, with the subdivisions. Try to understand how the movements you're doing match with the song. And this is a key element to be able to execute all your repertoire of moves connected to the song. Number seven, every time you are learning a new movement, think about the relationship of this movement with the music, with the rhythms. Just follow our step six. 
Sometimes people are very focused on how to execute, where to step, how to transfer the weight, and all these techniques related to the, the move or even elements of style and whatever you want to do in your dance to make it more interesting. And we sometimes lose this connection with the beat. And I, I really believe that uh, the, the notion of the rhythm should be the first one we are work on new movements. We understand how to do the movement and then try immediately to connect to the beats. So uh, when I teach my classes, usually I go over the movement, not doing at any beats, just doing the movement by itself. Then you do it slowly, but on the beat, and then you accelerate the speeds they're gonna be dancing in a song. Number eight, be confident about your movements. Once you're already connected to the beats, you're connected to your partner, you decide which movement you want to do, go for it, be assertive. If we are not confident and we are hesitating to do a movement, chances are we're not preparing the movement well. And two, there is a big chance that we are being a little bit or somehow imprecise in our movement. And this is something that we don't want to be and don't want to do. So be assertive. But here, assertive doesn't mean to be rude or to disregard the response of your partner. We should always have in mind the reaction of the person we're dancing with. Never be cocky. Be confident, not cocky. <laughs> Number nine, this is a little bit more for intermediate and advanced dancers who already have the skills to connect to the beats and dance in time. The next level then is try to connect with other elements in the song. Then you have the chance to groove in different ways and to move and to use the rhythm to your advantage uh, connected to the song because every song is unique and your dance can be unique as every song is. So you can try to find the different elements in the song, the different instruments, different musicians, what they're doing, and then try to bring those elements to your dance. Number 10. This is about those moments where you feel you're getting a little bit off the song, you're not really connected with your partner. What do you do then? Simplify, make it easier for yourself, easier for your partner to get in sync with one another and to get in sync with the song. I would not try to do any more complex move if I'm not able to connect to my partner in terms of rhythm and be connected to the song. So I think it's much preferable for you to have a simpler dance when you feel things are not really super connected and then try to do something more complex if you want. So, once again, less is more. 10 elements that you can use in your dance to be more connected to the rhythm. By being more connected to the rhythm, have more chances to be musical in your dance and start to explore other things in the song. By doing so, also the possibility to connect at a deeper level with your partner because both of you, obviously, at least are listening to the same song. Those tips are very, very, very important and I, I hope they're useful to you. But they're just the tip of the iceberg. When you talk about musicality, there are so many things that we can explore, so many things to learn and so many things to put to use in our dance. I have been working uh, hard to create content, uh, record everything on video, high quality, uh, very organized content here for this time we leave that we cannot meet in person. Everything available uh, on the links here in the description. So if you're interested in this kind of content, actually hours of this kind of content, everything is available through uh, the links here in the description. And as always, if you like the video, please give us a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, if you don't know about the channel, maybe this is your first video here. We have a lot of content like this in many other videos, uh, different styles related to forho, demonstrations, conversations, trips, informative videos, everything related to forho here in New York, but also around uh, the world. So if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. The bell is somewhere around here. I don't know where. <laughs> <laughs> this is. So that's it. I hope to see you in another video or when we get back to normal in our regular activities, events, classes, parties, and all that. 
a kiss, a hug. I hope to see you soon. If you're interested in my work as a musician, I invite you to visit my artist page. Link here in the description of this video.